So if you're thinking of getting a new dog or a new puppy, of course it's important to do your research to make sure you get the right breed that suits your lifestyle, as well as understanding the traits, the temperaments, and the various medical conditions that may be prone to. So thinking of the Chow Chow, the Chow Chow has traditionally been thought of as a hunting dog, and they're renowned for their bluish black tongue, as well as their thick, explosive fur. Chow Chows tend to be a loyal breed, but quite independent in their nature. They're intelligent, but they can also be strong-willed. So it's important to think twice about this breed if you're a first-time pet owner, because they will need to be handled and trained properly so they don't become too unruly. Like many breeds, the Chow prefers to form a bond with one particular owner. And this is relevant if you have a lifestyle whereby your pet is going to be left for longer periods of time, because this can make them slightly more prone to separation anxiety. Chows come in either rough or smooth coats with a range of colours, black, blue, cream, fawn, red. The rough coat has a thick, dense, straight fur with the coat standing off the body. The outer coat is more coarse and the undercoat is softer and woolier. The smooth coat has got a shorter double coat and it's much softer and plush to the touch. And despite all that hair, they actually only molt about twice a year but they will need and benefit from daily grooming, which can be quite a chore. So chow chows need to be well trained and handled frequently by their owner, so they don't start showing that more dominant side of their personality, as otherwise they can be stubborn. They are extremely clean by nature and they're very easy to house train, but they will need exercise, probably half an hour each day. We have to be particularly careful of hot weather, of course, but they will need access to outdoors, especially a wander around the garden. Chow Chows tend to live for about 10 to 14 years on average, and there's three main groups of medical condition they seem more prone to. So eye conditions, skin conditions, as well as joint issues, in particular their knees, because they have a slightly straighter hind leg gait, and it makes them more prone to cruciate ligament disease. 